So we've just done the Tomb Raider live experience, there's Lara Croft there, with the first group in the preview week, which was very exciting. Um, I wasn't really sure what to expect when I went in. I was actually, it exceeded my expectations. But yeah, there were, there were references to all sorts of characters, there were medipacks, there was <laughs> We started in Finland and there was a kind of escape room element, um, so there was lots of teamwork in that. Personally, I find the escape room stuff a bit um, disorientating, especially when you have a big team and everyone's kind of running around and there are a million puzzles to do and you don't really know what's what. I think what might have been handy if they had maybe fewer puzzles or the actor kind of directed us to just one or two um, and then led us on to other ones. Um, so maybe a bit more help from the actors would have been good. Um, but it was still very fun. And then the zip line, which was very fun indeed. Um, I liked that the experience kind of mixed the escape room -y bits and the physical bits and the, um, the scary bit that I didn't do. Um, <laughs> so it was a nice variety, like you weren't kind of worn out by too many of the same kind of thing. Um, so there was something for everyone, I think. It, it's not like you have to do all the physical work if you don't feel like you cannot make it. Or make yeah, it. yeah, and they... Um, they kind of let you skip things if you don't want to do them. Like there was one bit, I won't reveal what it was. I actually thought it was a really good idea because it was just such a simple thing but also a nice really different um, thing. But I found it really scary. Or oh, my legs found it scary and I couldn't do it. So I was led down a secret passage um, and I saw a scent machine on my way through it. <laughs> so I was pleased about that. I forgot to mention they also had in the foyer, um, so the entrance room, it's designed to look like um, Croft Manor, it's a bar, it's not quite finished yet. Um, I meant to be having a portrait in it apparently as part of my ticket, um, but I look forward to seeing that next time. Um, what was really nice about that space is that they're playing Tomb Raider music in it. It's the Tomb Raider Suite by Nathan McCree, which is a really nice feature. It really um, sets the scene and it's like music from the first three games. The unification of the timelines uh, work like really well actually here in the life experience. Like you can get things from from all the experiences that you have uh, with Tomb Raider and it, nothing feels out of place actually. If they go this way with the video games, like I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I think um, fans of the classic series who like to see blue shirts and plaits are going to be pleased. Fans of the modern series who like to see Jonah. <laughs> like shoot arrows, for example. Yeah, and who like to shoot arrows um, are going to be pleased as well. So definitely something for everyone. Now we got what I was very pleased with. I didn't, I, um, the fact that they mentioned Matla Technologies which may be a spoiler. In fact, the last scene where they gave out this card and also our scorecard, I thought was really nice because you could just relax. I won't reveal what it was, but it was a nice kind of, you got to meet a, a classic character and it was just a nice moment to wind down, which I found good. So we got this card from Natla Technologies. We're gonna see if we can get through to Jacqueline Natla. Thank you for calling Natla Technologies. Since our inception in 1945, we have been pioneering a new generation of scientific research, strengthening, advancing, and creating a better world. I'm sorry, our records indicate that you do not have clearance to take that action. Do not attempt to make any further contact with NATLA Technologies. Your number has been logged. <laughs> 